Hi, my name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes, we're going to take a look at the new brush stroke smoothing option and the paint symmetry technology preview in Photoshop CC. First, the brush stroke smoothing. So when you select the brush or the pencil or the mixer brush or the eraser tools, you're going to see a new smoothing control in the options bar. You can enter a value from 0 to 100. The higher value, the more smoothness is added to your strokes. So let's set this down to zero, and I'm going to paint a stroke here, but I think you can see that there's quite a bit of jittering going on in that stroke. When I increase the smoothing to 100%, I'll just try to mimic that stroke. This time we can see, sure enough, it is a lot smoother. So stroke smoothing has several different modes that you can access using the gear icon in the options bar. By default, the stroke catch-up is enabled, and what that means is when I paint and then I pause, Photoshop will go ahead and catch up the stroke to the current position of my cursor. If I choose to disable that, then when I paint and I pause, Photoshop will pause the brush, and if I release my cursor, it's not going to catch up to that endpoint. All right, let's turn on the catch up on stroke end. Now you can see that when I pause the cursor and I release the cursor, Photoshop will draw a straight line between where I've paused and where the current location of the cursor is. In addition, there's an option for adjusting for zoom. That's gonna help keep things consistent when I zoom in and zoom out. It decreases the smoothing when you zoom in and it increases the smoothing when you zoom out. There's also a pulled string mode, which can be really helpful when making precise changes in direction like sharp corners. So I will tap my pen, that creates the initial stroke, but you'll notice that I can reposition my cursor anywhere within this radius and nothing paints. It's not until I pull that string taunt that Photoshop is going to start painting. And that way I can pause and change direction very easily. All right, if you don't like seeing that magenta leash as you're painting, you can turn that off or you can change the color by selecting preferences and then cursors and disabling it or changing the color. In addition, if you wanna change the smoothing amount using a keyboard shortcut, you can hold down the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on Windows and tap a numeric key. So for example, I'll tap eight to go to 80%. I can tap 78 to go to 78% or I can tap zero to go to 100%. If I wanna set the smoothing to zero, I tap zero twice. If I need to turn smoothing off completely, I can use the smoothing option in the brush settings. All right, let's talk about paint symmetry. So this is a technology preview and you need to enable it by going underneath your preferences to technology previews. As soon as you enable the paint symmetry, you'll see a butterfly icon when you have the paintbrush, the pencil, or the eraser tools. I'm gonna to select a hard round brush, just so that you know the paint symmetry doesn't work with the live brush tips, so your airbrush tip or the bristle tips or the erodible tips. When I click on the butterfly icon, I get a dropdown of all the different types of symmetry. I'm gonna select new vertical. When you first select one of the types, you have the option to transform it. In this case, I'll undo that and then just tap enter a return to lay down that axis. So I'm basically going to paint on one side and we can see that Photoshop creates a completely symmetrical drawing on the other side in real time. All right, let's undo that and I'll choose a different axis, maybe horizontal this time. And again, we can see same thing occurs. All right, let's undo that. And let's choose the new dual axis. And I'll tap enter a return in order to apply it. I think I'll get a different brush here to make it a little bit more interesting. And I'll start in the center and I'll just tap the shift key so that every time I draw, Photoshop is going to create a straight line for me. And of course we can go over into the other quadrants and make larger strokes or smaller strokes whatever we want.
Excellent. There are a ton of additional options here. We can choose to paint with a diagonal or a path that's wavy, a circle, a spiral, even parallel lines. In fact, you can create your own path and then use that selected path in the symmetry painting. All right, let's turn that off for now. I just want to show you on my layers panel a few examples. So yes, even myself, who really isn't a very good painter, well, with the help of Ed Emberley, can learn to draw and make use of this symmetry painting. But of course, other artists at Adobe like Mike Shaw, he has given me some incredible examples of how you can use this tool to really create just some beautiful illustrations. So there you go. Before we wrap up, I just also want to mention there have been a number of performance improvements with the painting tools, which I'm sure you're going to notice when you're painting on really large documents, especially with large brushes on those high DPI screens. My name is Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.